They're saying about using S1 for the double, but... Okay, we got chatty. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, we get to S3. Wait a second. Hold. Okay, we hold 4,000. Not bad. Okay, we take like no damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this really happening right now? We got chatty. You can get chatty multiple times. What? That was insane. She soloed him. The couple solo. Holy crap. That was insane. Hey guys, how's it going? So, two new characters came out today, and, uh, you know, both seem pretty interesting. I think Vivian's skill set sort of sounded a little basic, right? But I think she's actually pretty fun to use. I'll talk about her a bunch in this video. As for Sharon, um, I used her a little bit, but I wasn't really able to find much conclusive, I guess, evidence on whether she'd be useful or not. I think this character's a little bit awkward. But we'll talk about more uh, in just a minute about her. Um, so I pulled for both of these. And I'll show my pulls in a little bit in the video. But uh, let's go look at my builds for a second. So right here we got my Sylvan Sage Vivian. I have three imprints on her. I'm using a plus 24 chatty. She has a broken set but she's lifesteal. Plus 15. And these are the stats that I decided to try out. Um, she doesn't need an insane amount of tankiness because of her passive, but I figured, you know, I want to get some sort of decent baseline of it, right? And this is the damage I went for, 200 speed. I think it would be nice if I had immunity, honestly, but oh well. Um, after extensively trying her a pretty good amount, I would say, I think she's a pretty solid character. She's a character that works in a surprising amount of situations despite having a lot of counters. She's really weak to characters like Arctium Mercedes. Solitaria, she's bad versus Carrot, Rimuru, and Hua Young because her passive doesn't work on, you know, debuff damage from like Carrot or something like Uberis Tooth or Rimuru's extra damage. It doesn't work. Um, so she's really bad versus that kind of stuff, right? But she works really well versus Landy, Spectre Tenebria. Surprisingly enough, she works very well versus Apocalypse Ravi in my testing as well. Um, and I think overall, she just seems like a pretty well-rounded solid character. She has strengths and weaknesses. Um, she even works pretty decently versus some cleave teams as well. Because uh, she's so tanky with her S2 that she basically has to be hit three times to get rid of that focus to then kill her. And even when defense broken, she can take a lot of damage. And with stuff like Chatty increasing her tankiness, she's actually really, really frustrating to get rid of. She almost feels like a Emma Celine type character, where if your opponent doesn't have something to deal with her, she just feels like really, really hard to fight. Obviously, you can control her with stuns and stuff like that too, but if your team has someone like Emma Kowarik or Amelia or let's say Dien, for instance, someone that can support her and cleanse, then I think she's a really, really good unit. Um, I've been enjoying her a lot. I've been drafting her with Alencia a lot. I've been drafting a team of either Emil Lilius or Emil Kowarik, whichever one I can get as my first pick, with uh, a team kind of like Ross, Emil Vivian, Alencia, and then some other unit that they need to ban as my last pick. And the Alencia Vivian Ross combo has been winning me a lot of games. I won like nine games in a row just spamming the same exact team with that, pretty much. And uh, it was actually a lot of fun, too. I definitely am really enjoying it, and I think Vivian isn't a must-pull unit quite yet. Um, it's not something like that, but I think she's a really solid unit, and I'm going to be using her a lot more uh, in the coming days, and if I decide that she's, you know, maybe not that good at all, maybe I'll upload something else talking about it, but for right now, I think she's a really, really solid unit. Um, keep in mind, Apocalypse Ravi is the skin for RTA this season, which means that she's going to be getting a banner in a few months or so. Approximately some little timeline like that near the end of the season. 
So if you really want to pop close Ravi, you know, maybe want to save up for that. But I think Sylvan Sage Vivian is a pretty solid character and very fun. And I have some good examples of how she works in this video later on. Now let's talk about Sharon. Sharon is the other character. Um, this character doesn't require a ton of molos. I put three in here, three in here, and you know, you probably want to put some in here if you're using her a lot. As for her artifact, I think her own artifact is actually pretty decent. Uh, I just decided to try out Celestine on her. Um, I haven't fully awakened her, but she gets 12% more effectiveness. I think getting her close to 100% effectiveness is really worthwhile. I don't have her on counter set, however, I think counter set is actually something that would work very well. Um, I think Sharoon is a very awkward character. She's a character that does some really cool things, but it feels like she's a little disjointed and doesn't quite mesh together well in the current meta in a lot of teams. Her S3 is a really cool ability, but one big problem with her is she instantly sucks into characters like Designer Lilibet and Emil Kowarik, right? Like she's really bad versus Cleansers. She's not that bad against Designer Lilibet, but versus Emil Kowarik, she's going to have a lot of trouble, right? Cleansers, she's not going to do so well against. Um, and when it comes to debuffers, there's so many strong debuffers. It's like, why do you want to pick Sharoon, right? She's really good versus health scaling units because Venom is obviously great versus Apocalypse Ravi, great versus Belion, you know, all those kinds of units, you know? I think having 100 effectiveness is worthwhile so that she can land it on some Soul Weavers, you know, kind of the lower res sort of Soul Weavers and stuff like Amelia. Um, I think her S1 is honestly her most powerful ability. This is the ability that really makes her really strong and interesting in some way. You know what put Venom for two turns is nice, but also the increase in skill cooldown, you can just permanently cause one of their units to be unable to use skills. So if she goes before ML Quirk, for instance, and just spams this, you would never be able to use an ability, right? Um, I think that's really, really interesting and a really cool interaction. I think this character's S1 is really strong versus Apocalypse Ravi as well, because she never gets to S3 and she's constantly getting Venom. Um, I think she's just all around a very interesting character. I'm going to have to test her more because I didn't really get conclusive evidence on her. In this video, I wasn't really able to find many times that I was actually able to use her. And sometimes I would use her and she would just fall flat completely. She has some issues, for instance, like... Um, She's not really able to kill somebody herself. She's like a sub DPS that weakens people, but she's never able to actually kill units because Venom just can't really kill unless you somehow get like five stacks on them or something, right? And another problem with Venom is it actually is diminishing returns because it does 10% of their max health inflicted with injuries, but their maximum health is reduced every time they get injuries. So if they have are at 100% health, then they get 10% injury, so they're at 90% maximum health now. The next uh, Venom is going to do 9% of their total health, right? So that Dimension Returns are a little bit disappointing too. If uh, the Venom was doing damage based on their absolute maximum health rather than their like current maximum health, then I think that it would be a lot better and would actually be closer to being able to kill people, right? Um, her S2 is a really interesting ability and it gives her a lot more cycling so that she gets to spam her abilities more so you can spam this and push them back their cooldowns a lot, which is really cool. Um, I'm definitely going to have to try this unit out for right now, but here's the thing. Next week, we get a Summer Charlotte and she's a limited unit. So I don't think many people can afford to pull for Sharoon when Charlotte's on the way, right? So I would recommend most people just wait rather than, uh, you know, immediately pulling for Sharoon. Um, both of their banners will coincide at the same time. So you can actually just pull Charlotte and maybe if you get lucky and pull Charlotte early, you could go for Sharoon after or something like that. But I don't really recommend that you pull her right now overall. Um, but Vivian, on the other hand, pretty good unit and uh, I'll be using her a lot more. And I think she's a worthwhile pull. She's not... The most godlike character I've ever seen, but I think she's fun, works really well in a team. She provides really good utility to the team with the crit damage buff and the heal on her S3 to the team, and she's really hard to kill for a lot of characters, and I think that gives her a lot of value. So, uh, up next in the video, I'm going to be showing my pulls for Sharoon and Vivian because, you know, they were uh, a little bit interesting, and after that, I'm going to be showing some fights in RTA with them. And uh, thanks a bunch for watching, I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, then make sure to subscribe to the channel or like the video. And uh, 
Thanks so much. I hope to see you guys next time. Sharon? <laughs> okay, we got Sharon. Identifying which signs lead to the proper future and providing guidance accordingly. That is my duty. <laughs> That's a pretty bad one, but that's fine. That's just the first one. It doesn't really matter. The second one doesn't matter either. What did I say? What did I say? Within the first 50? Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh. Man, th this game is just too easy. What what can I say? Ooh. Oh, man. It's just that simple. I, I told you guys, right? Oh, it looks like, uh, you know, the first two were just averaging out the luck, right? I didn't get anything in the first ten, two ten pulls, and then we get Sage Vivian. Can I get a second one or something? Did we get another? Unlucky. Oh, man. Only only one. Oh, what, what a shame, guys. <laughs> he must have no confidence in his speed. What the hell? He's slow as balls. <laughs> if he uses everything to kill her, I just, like, win. Believer but not confident? Yeah. Oh? What do we get? Defense buff. Wow. Needs more, uh, needs more speed? Uh, that's around my speed, actually, Dragonfruit. Dragonfruit, I think that looks, uh, fine. I guess if you're on speed set, though, maybe you could get more. Uh, buddy? <laughs> um, buddy? Get this thing out of my sight. Yeah. I don't even know if that's going to kill. Oh, he's going for them. I feel like we kind of just win, right? Senya just pops off here. So Vivian's a really nice character versus this single target cleave stuff, right? Because single target cleave, like, depending on what they pick, right? She actually has amazing survivability against this kind of damage, you know? <laughs> he moonlight dream bladed it. What the hell? Let's not let this drag on. Wait, is he gonna die? Uh, Get out of here, you Hannibal! <laughs> is this really Get out of here! I think I know what's gonna happen. So he's gonna kill her. Then he's gonna S2, then he gets to Soul Burn. Oh, dude, did you see that Shrewd's, like, CR push? Yeah. <laughs> kind of interesting. Thinking real hard about it, but obviously he's doing this, right? Oh, I didn't get a CR push again. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Uh, oh, wait, what? Dude. How did you actually get that, man? <laughs> How did you actually get that? Bruh. Resistance, cool. <sighs> fine. 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 Vivian Solo, alright? Yeah, the couple. We got the dream team, the couple. We're fine, right? We didn't even land Venom on her, which is, like, kind of an enormous problem. I really wanted to land Venom on her. I need all the injury I can get. Okay, Shroon did her job, you know? She tanked, right? Really good job. She took her out of stealth, which was great, though. Ouch. 
Okay, this should do a good amount of damage. See how much we get. Oh. <laughs> that was, uh... Wait, the speed down is actually value right here. Okay, wait a second. Wait, no way I win this, right? The feed's gonna do a lot of damage. I don't know what they just stripped, but sure. Wait, do I win? Oh my god. Is Sovereign and S3. If I still had Sharoon, I'd be fine. Mmm, he gets to S3. I think I lose, right? He gets to S3, so I don't think I can do anything, you know? Who's this revive? Oh, she gets to Solber. Wait! But that reduces my cooldown by two times, right? Okay, so... Wait, he has that up? Huh? He's thinking about using S1 for the double, but... Okay, we got chatty. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, we get to S3. Wait a second. Hold. Okay, we hold 4,000. Not bad. Okay, we take like no damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this really happening right now? We got Chatty! You can get Chatty multiple times? What? That was insane! She soloed him! The couple solo! Holy crap, that was insane. I think I'm in a pretty good position. This scene's pretty nice. Please land enough debuffs. Please. Okay, thank god. Shouldn't he not have done that? Like, wasn't that maybe a mistake? I don't know. Am I wrong? I feel like that may have been a mistake. Wait, that procced it? Holy crap. Can't believe it. I'll take your life. Yeah, there's leaks of a full metal alchemist collab, which is pretty crazy if true, right? No one would have expected that ever. Now it's too late to escape. Vivian does a lot of damage. Like, it, it actually really, really works. She's good. Her damage is really impressive. Ooh, she got the turn there. Maybe this is a mistake, but I think I'm gonna go like this. Hey, Sermia, what's up, dude? Step back. Okay. They really hate designer a little bit. Breaks my heart. Wait, dude, stop. Uh-oh. Hey, Ninja Tire, thanks for giving that sub to him, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think, uh, I think we're fine here, guys. 
Roy Mustang gonna be a water unit? Oh my god. Wait, check out this damage that Vivian's about to do. This is gonna be like pretty insane, right? Well, I guess with the defense buff, made him kind of tanky, right? I think we're fine. I don't think they can kill Vivian, right? Oh. Oh, so her passive procs anyways. That's kind of a big deal. Her passive procs, even if she has skill null on. Wait, you're alive? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice resist. That was lucky. Oh, boy. Hey, can I take a turn, buddy? Uh oh. Okay, we killed this thing. Let's break that skill null. 10,000 damage to A. Ravi. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, this is a power couple right here. Dude, I don't have an AoE. Wait, actually. Vivian has her AoE. Never mind. I think we just, like, win, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we kill him here, I think, right? Wait, check this out. And we get an extra damage boost and crit damage. Play the animation. And we heal the team. Oh, a lot of damage. 